vice versa. Um, it is a basic necessity for all. We do not imagine growth without the roof over our heads. Uh, it's a house, it's a home, it's a shelter, it's a base for human activity and family life. And yet, for millions of people uh, in West Africa, housing today is uh, too often precarious or inaccessible. Um, deforestation has, has depleted wood, the wood resources traditionally used for timber. And uh, straw roofs have been replaced by metal sheets, despite their total inadequacy um, to the economy, to the climate, to sustainable lifestyles, uh, to traditional architecture. The mission of the Nubian Vault Association is to enable access to appropriate housing to as many people as possible. And by appropriate, I mean decent, affordable, and sustainable all at once. Sustainable would be mindful of local resources and carbon impact, both in construction and in use. Um, APN disseminates a low-tech, low-cost, low-carbon building solution, um, an all-earth, raw-earth uh, building uh, technique originating in ancient Egypt, which APN has simplified, standardized, and revitalized to disseminate it to as many people as possible. A Nubian vault is comfortable, it is cool in the heat, it is warm uh, in the cold, it is durable, it will be a family's home for generations. It is affordable, it can be up to 50% less expensive than other building solutions. And it is sustainable uh, with no uh, carbon heavy metal imports and um, thermal passivity, which gives a great um, energy efficiency, sorry. <laughs> A Nubian vault uh, is modular. It is adapted for rural use uh, here at a farmer's home. It is also good for uh, more complex urban villas, and it's also great for um, community use, uh, schools, health centers, community centers, agricultural storage units, uh, even part of a royal palace. So the Nubian's uh, program is threefold, uh, tailored to generate a complete transformation of the construction sector in uh, West Africa to in integrate uh, local and sustainable solutions. Um, APN does not build or donate houses. Uh, instead, it seeks to kickstart markets to make it available, make the solution available to as many people as possible. Um, a roof. Uh, APN's regional teams go from village to village, um, raising awareness to this solution, um, to its availability and its assets for daily living. Um, the first clients uh, have their houses built, masons learn the trade, and then teach a this trade to others through apprenticeship. Um, a skill to bolster uh, professional inclusion uh, development of masons AVN offers boosted training uh, units both for technical and entrepreneurial skills. A market, uh, AVN also works with uh, financial and institutional actors as well as relevant building stakeholders to generate a supportive environment for this solution. And I want to leave you with uh, the words of Mrs. Ecovier, leader of a women's group in Burkina Faso and a passionate advocate for the Nubian Vault. She is herself a Nubian Vault client and uh, two of her sons are Nubian Vault Masons with uh, increased livelihoods for themselves and their families. And she goes on to say that she will encourage all villagers uh, to build in a Nubian Vault and uh, encourage our children to train as Masons. And with her help, we have boast uh, fantastic results to over 2,000 buildings and 24,000 people with better working and living conditions. Thank you. It's interesting how a uh, century, I mean, how a, an ancient building technique can be continually improved with modern materials and modern, modern interventions and help solve an ongoing problem. Are there any thoughts from the panelists or questions that you have? Yes, I have a question about the, the, for lack of a more elegant term, the business model. How, how are people who are in search of this type of shelter able to access it. I understand that the training and all the rest of the formings is probably not, I, I understand it's not enough time to get into all of it. Can you say a little more about it, how it works? Yeah, um, well, uh, 
The poor, our, our poor target is our rural populations from Western Africa, uh, who already know about Earth architecture. And uh, so this technique uh, is very well suited uh, for, for these areas. And um, the clients will participate to the construction. They will bring the earth, which is readily available throughout the entire Sahelian Strip, um, it's therefore at no cost for themselves. They also, uh, together with their families or the communities, participate in the construction uh, as unskilled workers. So then they only have the mason's fees and his apprentices, um, therefore reducing the cash cost. So, um, the, the, yeah, the cash cost of the Nubian vault is much lower than uh, the, 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 the real cost, which is a time also and in, in materials which are available to the clients. Thank you. Have your projects ever experienced any natural or man-made disasters, and how have you recovered from them? Um, yeah, there have been uh, a few um, defects on, on houses. Uh, the, the main uh, the main issue with the Nubian vault, as all raw earth constructions which exist throughout the world, is, is water. So uh, the Nubian vault has to be built on an area that will not um, uh, take water through the foundations. Uh, but all masons know this and therefore built accordingly and um, the walls need to be maintained. Uh, again, uh, these rural populations have centuries of tradition of maintaining earth walls and that, that, that isn't an issue. Um, we've more, more recently uh, seen more and more rural or community clients, and in, that, in those cases, um, maintenance of, of the buildings has been, has been at times a little bit faulty, and therefore we've developed um, coatings that use cement or tar, uh, which is um, a compromised reintroduction of other materials in the earth. Um, to ensure uh, a long lasting uh, structure uh, with much less maintenance than what these clients uh, require. Could you actually follow on from that? So, these have been built long enough to understand the maintenance issues. So, have you guys actually been looking at the impact on resilience and health? Have you done any kind of follow up that actually goes back to the families that have actually benefited from this? Um, do you have those stories? Um, well, we have we have daily stories of, of the clients um, we know who follow very closely with the clients, with the masons, our teams are in direct contact with both. Uh, we've conducted thermal studies uh, that demonstrate that the Nubian vault uh, indoors is much stabler than uh, other types of constructions, especially those with metal sheets as roofs, um, which uh, provide for a much healthier living. Um, including in community buildings such as schools where in the afternoon there isn't school when there's a metal sheet because it's just too hot. Nubian vaults, you know, schools, school takes place in, in the morning and in the afternoon, therefore very education for the children. Great. Thank you so much.